Okay, so let's talk about practicing these open chords you just learned. We've, uh, we've learned about 20 open chords or so. Now what we're gonna try to do is try to make little songs out of them. When I was a kid, I learned these chords and I thought they were beautiful sounding, right? So, so what did I do? I, I just sat around and sort of played these chords. You know, I'd practice making each chord. Here's D, you know, and I'd go, oh, let's go to G. You know, there, was, there wasn't any rhyme or reason to it. It didn't have to sound good for me. But I was just going from chord to chord, whatever I had learned that week. And so you could do the same thing. You know, first step is to make the chord, right? Get it all to sound good. And then the next few steps is how can I get from one chord to the next? Because that's coming up, right? You're gonna have to strum and, and change chords without stopping. So one of the things you can do is just sort of, just sort of play through the chords. You know, practice making C, practice making F, practice making G, you know? Can I get there from G to C, you know? Or from D to G, and maybe E minor. I like E minor, it's easy. You might find uh, G, and E minor go very well. And then you might hear C and D, right? They all belong to the family of G. So once you hear that, you know, you may want to just practice that. Here's G a couple of times, and then I'm going to E minor. And then maybe C, and then maybe D. Right, another, another four that go together are A minor, F major, and then maybe C and G. These all belong to the key of C, the family of C, right? So you could practice playing that. A minor, and then F, and then C, and then G. All right, so the more you play around, the more you'll find some that come together, and it's a good way of practicing open chords.